Hello and welcome. Um, I'm going to be planting some uh, jalapeno chilli peppers and as I've said before this is just a recycled old milk bottle, the bottom section of one of these. Let's see. Yep, so that's just the bottom section of one of those and the top I use for cloches, the bottom I use for growing seedlings in. So uh, I've got, I'm going to plant four jalapenos today and as you can see how tiny the rule of thumb really is uh, you plant a seed twice its depth roughly speaking so you don't need you need a light covering of soil for jalapeno peppers and I'm going to plant four so in goes one and this is um, very finely uh, tilled soil I've, I've crumbled and crumbled it till it's very fine and just Put four in there. Just make sure they're equally spaced, plenty of room to grow. And now uh, in this pot here, I've got some soil that I've crumbled already. So I'm just going to take some of this, make sure it's really, really fine. And some hard bits in there. You always get them, you know. I've had this uh, bag of compost, huge bag of compost. Uh, outside it's fairly I brought it into warm for a little while because it's freezing and it's snowing outside and if you like me you you can't plant anything out at the minute oh it says oh plant March to April but um, <clears throat> it, it, you know uh, it's never the, the the way so it's far too cold to be planting anything outside unless you've got a heated greenhouse so if you like me and you want to get one step ahead Get your seedlings growing. I like to grow everything from seed, um, so, you know, even seed potatoes, onion sets. Um, so right, that looks pretty good to me. So get them growing inside on your windowsill, and then when summer comes, they'll be ready, and you can put them out for some sun. I've got all sorts to plant. I'll have to uh, get cracking with tomatoes and uh, beans and peas and all sorts. Okay, so now I'm just going to sprinkle on that really fine soil. This is just um, multi-purpose compost. Where's the other one gone? Ah, you see, already hid. Already hid. Really nice fine layer. I think that'll do. Don't pat it down too much, you know, level it off gently, but you don't firm it down because this little seedlings have got to use all their might to get up. And through the soil and uh, I've got one of my trusty markers so I know what I've got and that's the jalapeno pepper so that's what must be in there right um, excuse my mucky fingers um, I use this cling film I never buy a um, propagator never buy one never bother I have got some in the shed and I do use them from time to time obviously if you've got them you use them um, but my brother bought me uh, that propagator so all I use is cling film and just put that over the top and secure it down I'll do this with two hands when I've stopped filming but you get the idea and when you've stuck that down I'm not watering this because it could shift the seeds the compost is already quite damp and you don't want it too damp anyway you don't want it too wet um, so I'm not going to water them in. The compost is already quite wet, like I've said. So that's it. Now all I need to do is just put this on a nice sunny windowsill uh, over a radiator where it's lovely and warm. And hopefully I'll have four pepper plants. We'll see. I've already got a sweet pepper. I've had that for four years and I get lots of fruit from that. So much fruit that I can't eat it all. You know, I give it away to charity and they sell it. Um, but th this should start coming up. Um, I don't know, let's see, probably through two, three weeks I should see some little uh, sprouts coming out. We'll see some shoots. Okay, there. It's easy, isn't it? I mean, there's no excuse for not growing anything, is there? And it's fun. You can eat these things if you dare. They are jalapenos. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Bye.